very exciting definitely be on the lookout for these yeah and one to check off the list I'm Camilla and I'm Kang and we are the five resellers. resellers and we went back to the Goodwill outlet aka the bin surprise so surprise we're gonna show you what we got we buy these things for a really low cost and sell them for more online to fuel our journey towards financial independence so we're gonna show you everything that we got that day and try to tell you how much it's going for online and to be able to help you in your business here we have a pair of lululemon leggings they're kind of a cropped more of a crop style yeah. but they are still in really good condition they've got the rip tag still so we love selling lululemon we love picking it up we ha haven't been finding it as much recently but even still when we do find it we pick it up these are some outdoor voices shorts they're an extra small i think that they're men's judging from like the length of them we have been picking up outdoor voices a couple times recently but they've all been kind of in terrible condition so <laughs> i was really happy to find these and they're actually in good condition so i am excited to list these so these are a pair of talbot's chambray kind of joggers capris and i thought they were really cute i think that this kind of style does well in talbot's and so that's the reason i decided to pick it up but Again, we don't pick up all Talbots that we find at the bins. We see a lot of Talbots at the bins, a lot of Ann Taylor, a lot of Loft. And so we leave most of it behind, but occasionally things will kind of jump out at us as being, you know, really stylish or really something that, you know, consumers would be looking out for. So when that happens, we pick it up. Next, this is a Sundance top and it's nicely embroidered. We like picking up Sundance. It usually sells for us around $20. So decided to pick this up and let us know if you think this is supposed to be white because yeah. maybe it's supposed to be white but it's actually a little pink <laughs> I think so. it's possible that someone before us who had this washed it with some red yes exactly <laughs> so here we have a brooks brothers sweater that has just a little bit of cashmere eight percent good enough to say cashmere blend right yeah sure <laughs> so very kind of classic style but brooks brothers is out of business now so people that like their stuff have to buy it online i think it's pronounced fjall raven Konkin. so this one a bolo brand i picked this up out of a purse bin and these backpacks should go for about 30 to 40 dollars online Reliably, for sure. and this one is in pretty good condition it has a little bit of fading on the fabric and stuff but that's about it otherwise their clothing their sweaters their jackets all mm -hmm. really great you can sell them for quite a lot. I picked up this Bluetooth headset for a motorcycle and it looks to be brand new, just kind of like in the box right there. It seems to be a no-name brand, so I'm not sure exactly what it's going for. Some of the other ones on eBay are going for about 40. If I can even get $20 for this, I'd be happy. Brand spanking new, not even open, LaserJet Inc. And I don't know if you know this, but LaserJet Inc. is a pretty good thing to be on the lookout for. I think we can get uh, like $60 or something like that. Very surprising. So when I saw this come out of the bin, I was like, okay, I, I definitely want to get that. <laughs> Jan van Hasteren. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you know how to say that. <laughs> a set of two puzzles. Mm -hmm. It should sell for us for a I good think amount. 20 or $30. But I'll put up the comp because we were able to find this exact one. And we're going to do quality control. So yeah. we have got to do these ourselves. Make sure all the pieces are in there. Right. We'll grab this just to say that we got Burberry from the bins. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just a Burberry Brit zip up uh, sweater with a hood, you know, it's got stains on it. Though. Yeah, it's got stains and holes. So we were going to put it back, but somehow it made it into our cart. Yeah, we forgot to throw it out. Yeah. I feel like someone's going to want this, even though it's in such bad shape. Yeah, for like $10. <laughs> I mean, I'll take $10 if we made a mistake to I pick guess. it up. This one, just like the Burberry Brit, is also kind of a mistake. This one is yeah. by Titleist. It's really nice. It's got this knit going on, but um, I think it's only going for maybe $20 or less. Yeah. So kind of a mistake, but at the same time, it's a great brand. I don't know that people really want the Titleist clothes. They want the golf clubs and the hats and all the other things. So. Right. Like this doesn't even say Titleist on there. So how will people even know that you're a golfer? You just right. look like your grandpa on this. So. <laughs> Yeah. So here we have this dress and it's by the brand Wallace. It's kind of very 90s style. Mm -hmm. I thought it was very cute. So that was why I picked it up. And I thought that it could kind of sell on style because I see a lot of people wearing these kind of dresses with kind of the puff sleeves and the dainty florals. So I think we can sell that. So here we have some American Eagle shorts. We like picking up American Eagle shorts at the bins because they're lightweight they go for about fifteen dollars but they go very quickly yeah, especially got a nice print here too. yeah in the summer these are i think the high rise festival shorts those ones especially i think are good style to be looking for 
So we always pick these up. This is like the third time we found this brand. It's Marie Francois Jabot, and a lot of people would just call it Jabot, I suppose. So they're these kind of wide leg jean shorts, and they were really popular in the 90s, kind of with like streetwear and yeah. all of that. So we're kind of making a comeback, I guess. <laughs> exactly. So people still are on the lookout for these, you know kind of iconic style. Here we have a pair of Victoria Sport leggings. We like picking up Victoria Secret Sport items. They do pretty well for us. They sell pretty quickly, usually around $15. So not like a ton of money, but quick sellers and pretty consistent sellers. We've been focusing on either quick flips or higher dollar sales. So that one fits into the quick mm -hmm. flips. So here we have some toddler John Deere overalls. Very cute. We've yeah. sold these a couple times and they seem to do pretty well for us right around $15. People just love overalls and kids love overalls and you can pretty much get them dirty muddy all that and it washes pretty much right out so here we've got a nice vintage sweater it's a jerseys tag it's a 50 50 blend so that's how we know it's vintage it's actually in really good condition so mm -hmm. we're hoping to get maybe 20 dollars for it people mm -hmm. are really into this type of stuff here we have some levi's 505s which is a good levi's you know kind of style to pick up so we'll probably sell these for about 20 dollars but we thought they were in really nice condition and if they don't sell pretty quickly we'll take them to buffalo exchange they seem to like Levi's, especially, you know, in really nice condition and in good sizes. So here we have a Bowdoin pencil skirt. It's in this nice bright kind of red floral pattern. And we like picking up Bowdoin because it usually sells for about $15 to $20. Some dresses and things can sell for more than that, depending on kind of how recent it is and how nice of a style it is. But I thought this was cute and, you know, just very kind of bright, bright and sunny. This is a moth cardigan and it's got this cute chevron pattern to it. And it's nice and long. It's kind of a duster cardigan. So we don't pick up all moth that we see. We are kind of picky with it. But I thought this was a nice color and a nice pattern. And, you know, if it doesn't sell right away, I'll probably wear it. This is a Talbot's pair of jeans, the Flawless 5 Pocket. And we sold this kind of style of Talbot's a couple times. And it's in a size 12, which is a good size. And they're in excellent, excellent kitchen. So we decided to pick these up. They'll probably only sell for about $15 to $20. But... I expect that they'll sell pretty quickly, you know, for Talbots anyway. Another pair of American Eagle shorts. We, you know, kind of said already, we like picking them up from the bins because they sell for about $15. Really easy to list, really easy to ship. So here we have a set of scrubs and it's by the brand Healing Hands. It's a, the purple label. We have done pretty well with scrubs in the past. We got some from friends of ours who were nurses and so they you know, sold really well. Even kind of the no name sort of brands, like the brands that we had never heard of, mm -hmm. they still sold. So I think that people just are on the lookout, like especially good condition scrubs, they can do pretty well. We're going to test this out. We've got two Nike dry fit shorts and they're not exactly the same like style or even the same sport. I think that's more running. This is more basketball, but we're going to give it a try since they're the same size anyway. Mm -hmm. And maybe someone who runs will also play basketball. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, a short intermission with the clothing to give you some shoes. Very exciting. Lucchese boots. Our first time finding these. Definitely uh -huh. a Bolo brand. Definitely be on the lookout for these. Yeah. And one to check off the list. Yeah, and these are in really good condition. Yeah. Like, look, look at, at the these bottoms. bottoms. Jeez <laughs> Louise. Yeah. So these are pretty small. It might be kids, but it might also be like I think a they're smaller women's. women's adult. Yeah, they're size eight in women's. That's my size. Uh oh, well, if Camilla fits them, then she can have them because they're really nice. But it's kind of one of those brands where you buy it for life. It's they're really yeah. high quality. So here we have some Allbirds. We have never sold this brand before, but we are excited to find it. We know that there's kind of something iffy with Allbirds on eBay, so we probably won't list them there, but we'll list them on Poshmark and Macari and Facebook Marketplace and hopefully sell them there. So here we have some Carl Lagerfeld boots and they're pretty cute but they have a little bit of wear like on the toe and stuff mm -hmm. and but the embroidery is like crazy cool i know it's really cool we'll see how these do i think that these also might be close to my size which was another reason we picked them up because i figured that if they didn't sell i could just wear them so here we have some dansko mary jeans these will probably go for about 30 to 40 dollars if we can really get them nice and spruced up with the leather and stuff but really happy with this pickup it was in a bin that had already been gone through so i was surprised that no one had pick these up but i think that they didn't recognize that they were dance goes because they didn't look like the regular clogs i gotta do a little bit of research on these but they're adidas boosts and mm -hmm. apparently they're pretty desirable i'm thinking yeah. maybe 30 or 40 if i can clean them up really nicely so here we have a pair of earth shoes and we've had pretty good luck selling earth shoes online for about 30 dollars so 
we decided to pick these up. They, you know, are kind of a crisscross, sort of almost a Mary Jane style. So very cute, very, you know, good brand to be on the lookout for. Here we have another pair of Karl Lagerfeld shoes. And these are kind of classic black pumps. Like you could wear these in an office every single day. And, you know, like they just look like that kind of classic work sort of style. So decided to pick these up and we'll see how these do. Here we have some Nike slip-ons. They're this really cool floral. I believe that they're women's because um, Kang tried them on and this is his men's size and they did not <laughs> fit him. So here we have some Bagley Mishka shoes and we have sold these once before. This type of this brand of shoe. It did pretty well for us. It sold for about $30 They're pretty quickly. They're in pretty rough condition. Yeah, so we'll see how these do. The other ones were not in very good condition either, so we'll see. Here we have some navy blue Cole Hans. They're in this nice little um, kind of short heel, and these are in really nice condition. I like picking up Cole Han. It's, you know, a favorite brand of mine to wear, so I, you know, when I see it out, I tend to pick it up because I figure, you know, people like me like to buy it on eBay. These are very my style. So if anyone has a seven and a half, let me know. All right, back to clothing. Yeah, so this is a sleeveless top, but it's got this really nice bright embroidery on there. And King really wanted to pick it up. He thought it was really cool. The brand is Panhandle Slim. The embroidery just really stood out to me. And I think that we can get about $20 for it. So mm -hmm. not too bad. Here we have a Madewell tank top with this cute little fringe on the bottom. We mm -hmm. like selling Madewell. It's a pretty consistent seller for us. So this is an Iviva top, which is the kids line of Lululemon. When we find it and it's in good condition, we'll pick it up. And I thought this was such a cute little tank top. Very kind of cute watercolor. Here we have a Lucky Brand top. Lucky Brand is one of our favorite bread and butter brands to sell, especially these kind of like peasant boho sort of tops. They sell consistently for us in the $15 range. <laughs> this is a Victoria's Secret sports bra. It's got these really nice stripes, which I thought was something that was going for it. And it was in just really good condition. This is a Tahari linen top and we like picking up tops and you know, really anything that's 100% linen, it sells pretty well for us. Even though Tahari is not something that we usually pick up, it is a really high-end brand, but the resale value isn't really there. But with something like 100% linen, there is an audience out there for mm -hmm. them. This is a Lululemon tank top. So this day we found a lot of Lulu, which was really exciting. We'll probably get about $20 for this since it's just a little tank top, but it's got this cute little ruffle on the back. So mm -hmm. this is a free people dress, I think, or tunic. I'm not really sure. It seems kind of short, but I guess if you're that small, you're probably that short too. So <laughs> I really liked it because it had lots of embroidery and we tend to pick up most free people that we see just because it is a pretty consistent seller for us. And so this will probably sell for $25, $20. This is a J. Jill top. J. Jill is another one of those brands that we pick up some things, oh, but not everything. Back, really but nice. it's got this really cool kind Print. of back detail and it's in really good condition. So yeah. that's why so, we picked it up. J. Jill, very consistent for us. So now we have a J. Crew top. And this I picked up because it was recent. It was from a recent summer when I checked the date. So we don't pick up most J. Crew that we see, but if it is a more recent date and a cute style, we'll pick it up. So this is a Madewell flannel button up and it's Madewell nice is- nice and thick too. Yeah, it is really nice and thick, nice and heavy. Madewell sells pretty well for us, pretty consistently. And this is kind of a classic piece that never really goes in and out of style. Another one. Another Madewell top, like we said, we picked up a lot of Madewell this day this and we thought this was pretty cute. I think it ties in the back. I yeah, think that's what it does. Probably. I've never seen something that like ties in the back like that. I see it a lot like it ties in the front, kind of funky. Here we have a Maeve by Anthropology top, which it has this kind of light floral mm -hmm. on here. It's like black on black floral. Yeah, I think you can see it there. But you can tell that it's more recent because it says Maeve by Anthropology instead of just Maeve. And so that's the most recent tag on there. So that was the reason I picked it up is that it is a more recent style. We got two Vineyard Vines performance zip up uh, quarter zips, two different ones, but yeah. at the same time, they're pretty substantial. So we feel like we can get maybe $20 for them. Yeah. If anything, we can lock them up and get like 30 or 35. Right. Exactly. Here we have a pair of J. Jill linen pants and the linen pants by J. Jill are definitely a bolo. Well, not really like a bolo bolo. Like they sell for like $20, $25, but they sell really quickly because this is what J. Jill is known for is linen and kind of nice fibers and all of that. And so the linen pants are kind of what J. Jill is known for. So this is an area top, which we've never picked up a top by area before. We've picked up jeans and boots and things like that. But this looks to me like a rhyming top, like something you would wear horseback riding or maybe even like showing. A competition or something. Yeah, at a competition. 
it doesn't really look to me like you know like FFA sort of stuff they usually wear more like pearl snaps I feel like but very cute so another Lululemon this is just a pair of shorts I think that these are the run swiftly shorts or something no uh what are they called they're called something there's some <laughs> name yeah, they're, they're called something. <laughs> <laughs> they've got a name to them but anyway this kind of short where it has like the little I don't know seam here they do pretty well for us around you know 25 30 dollars which is surprising because they're just a tiny little pair of shorts but right. You would be surprised what people will pay for them. This is a new tag and tailor pair of pants, and it is kind of this micro suede sort of. It's really nice. Yeah, sort of fabric, and so it's really nice. These originally were one hundred and nineteen dollars, and that seems to be like a sticker tag. Like maybe they were even more expensive, and they went on sale for that much. This is an Eileen Fisher silk jacket, and I thought it was really cute. And we love picking up Eileen Fisher. It's one of our best brands, you know, top selling brands. So we love it when we can find it and when it's in nice condition like this one is. This is a point sir sweater and it is definitely shedding, but I picked it up anyway because I think that it's, you know, high quality. It's a brand underneath J. Crew and we've had pretty good luck selling it previously. So when I find it, I do end up picking it up. This is a Talbot sweater and it's new at tags. It's a hundred percent merino wool and it's like soft merino wool. Yeah, really so nice. really, really nice. We'll probably sell this for more than some of our other Talbot stuff because it is such a high quality fiber and it's new at tags. This is like so crazy to me looking at all these original prices. Originally it was $119. Wow. It just is crazy to me that someone maybe bought this or got this at a, as a gift and donated it to Goodwill and we ended up buying it for like two dollars <laughs> like it's just nuts to me another Madewell piece this is just a sweater it's got this cute little stripes here and very kind of in fashion I feel like these colors are really cute yeah so. really thick too thick the thick sweater these are new tag Paxson jeans and I picked these up because the last time I went to Buffalo Exchange, they picked up my Paxson jeans, and I think these might be men's jeans or women's. I'm not sure. But because they were new tags, I picked them up, and we'll see if they're selling for very much online, but otherwise, I'll probably take them into Buffalo Exchange. They'll definitely pick these up and probably give me some good money for them. Okay, so I picked this up because I've heard that these kind of toddler dresses that are like these big circle skirts can do really well on eBay and that people use them for like pageants and stuff and they can be really expensive. I'm gonna experiment with that. It didn't cost us very much to, you know, get it and all of that, so we'll see. So this is a Tula Rosa dress, which I believe that Tula Rosa is sold on Revolve or like Shopbop. We decided to pick this up because it's in really good condition and I figured that it would be good for like a wedding that you're going to or even just like date night or cocktail parties and stuff like that. A really kind of fancy dress. I picked this up, it's kind of unique. It's by Miss June. When I looked up the comps, it was kind of pleasantly surprised, really. It's going for about 30 or 40, I think. So, mm -hmm. pretty nice. So, this is an And Other Stories top, and I believe it's 100% silk. So, really nice. And Other Stories, I believe, is part of like Free People, maybe. And it does really well. So, I've sold a dress by them for like $30. So, I would expect we'll get probably like 20 to 25 for this top. So, this is an Ann Taylor sweater, which we almost never pick up Ann Taylor. Mm -hmm even though this time we picked up two things, but this, <laughs> right. I checked the material and it's 20% alpaca and 20% wool. So it's really nice. Definitely a really nice sweater. So I think this should do well. We got to list all these sweaters and stuff soon. Mm -hmm. $275. Wow. So this is a Hudson jacket and it's, you know, kind of classic sort of bomber style, but it is new with tags. Although it also has a Marshall's tag on here, which is much lower. So we're going to cut that Marshall's tag off <laughs> yeah. and just keep the main tag on there and try to sell this. We've never picked up like cuts in anything other than jeans and the jeans do pretty well for us. So we'll see how these do. I picked up this really cool hat. It's, it's <laughs> very cool, I think. I don't know. You let me know in the comments <laughs> if you think this is cool. It's by Stormy Cromer. So yeah, did the comp on it. Mm -hmm. Pretty confident and it's sell through rate. So... Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Made in the USA too. So here we have a Madewell sweater that is in very rough shape. It needs so much sweater shaving, like probably at least an hour of sweater shaving. <laughs> That's not worth the time, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, but it does have some alpaca in it. So we'll see how that does. If not, 10%. maybe I'll just keep it. So this is probably the funkiest thing we picked up. It's a dress, but it's made out of granny squares. <laughs> and you just had to get it. Yeah. So you would have to definitely wear like a slip underneath or 
use it as like a swimsuit cover swimsuit up, or cover something. up. yeah but very funky very cool so that is everything that we found from the goodwill outlet aka the bins so let us know down in the comments what your favorite item was what you tend to pick up at the bins we would just love to hear from you down there if you liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you like hauls especially bins hauls you should definitely consider subscribing to our channel because we do a lot of hauls here and we pretty much exclusively source at the bins and other really low cost places. So if you're looking to learn how to start your reselling business with just really low cost inventory, we are definitely some people to follow. So we would just love to have you as part of our community to learn with you and to grow together. Yeah. And what's more important than, you know, actually buying these things is selling them. So join us on our What Sold videos every Monday. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, we've been focusing either quick flips or bigger dollar monies. Mm -hmm. uh, bigger dollar monies? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense. These are some of the best. <laughs> yeah. Lucchese. 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 I was listening to the radio and some guy was talking about this and he didn't know how to pronounce it and people just roasted him. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing Kohan is my favorite kind of heel brand to whale. To, to whale? <laughs>